Hi, I'm Philip Nickerson, President and Owner of Aqua Production Systems. We specialize in designing heating and cooling systems for fish farms and lobster pounds and their water treatment systems. I'm Nicola Gayash, the Office Manager, and today we're going to be demonstrating the levels of protein in a lobster by a calibrated fractometer. Today we're going to use the following equipment. Our 21 gauge needle and our 1 milliliter syringe, our refractometer, and our distilled water. Philip is going to turn the lobster upside down and inject the needle into the soft part of the tissue in the abdomen and extract a quarter to half a milliliter. Philip is going to lift the protective flap and disperse our sample covering the entire lens. To get the measurement of the lobster blood protein, Nikki is going to look through the refractometer and there's a distinct shadow across the scale in the refractometer. Where that line occurs, that number on the scale is the lobster blood protein. By measuring the lobster blood protein, uh, we can tell how suitable the lobster is for long-term holding. Um, general rule of thumb is that they will lose one count per month in a suitable system that's able to maintain temperature at a cold enough level for the lobster to remain dormant. Uh, if you are putting lobster into your system and you get a low blood count, you would then not put the lobster in as you would be expected to molt and die in the system. Our results today reflect a range from 10 to 12 in protein levels, which means lobsters can be in a long-term holding facility. For more information, please visit our website, aquaproduction.ca or contact us by phone.